Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show using the ranking experiment within AutoML. And we're here in Visual Studio here with the console project. And I already have my data in the solution here. It's the same data that we used for the main ML.NET ranking video. And so we have our label, group ID, and a bunch of other features here for some web ranking. So first thing, let's get our NuGet package. And actually just found out that if you're doing auto ML, all you need is the auto ML package here. And the main ML.NET package comes as a dependency. You just need this one package instead of getting both. All right, so first things first is we create our context, new ML context. And just for fun, I'm gonna set a seed of 42 since that is the meaning of life. And we'll get our data doing context.data load from text file. I'm gonna bring in that ranking data schema in just a bit, but first we'll finish this out. It's gonna be ranking.tsv and it has a header and a separated character is gonna be a tab since it is tab delimited. All right, so let's create this ranking data. All right, now I'm going to use the same thing that we did in that previous video, where we just get the label, the group ID, and then we get all the other features as a float array within a vector type. Next, I'm going to split my data here using context, data, train test split, then do a test fraction, 0.2. So 20% of my data is going to be used for my test set. And you don't have to do this when using AutoML, it'll do it by itself, but this is just a way that you have a bit more control over how your data is split. And so we need to create some settings, and that's gonna be new ranking experiment settings. I'm gonna set max experiment time and set in seconds as 300, so five minutes. And I'll set the optimizing metric to ranking metric dot NDCG. Now there are other things that we can do here. We can specify what trainers that we want to use and tell it to cache the data as well, make it a bit faster. But I'll leave it as that for now. And then create our experiment context.auto and create ranking experiment and pass in my settings. Now while these things are going, I like to have a progress handler going in for one it lets me know that it's still going and things are still working but also it gives me some indication of what trainers and what metrics are being generated from the auto ml experiment so it's going to be a new progress of type run detail and run detail is of type ranking metric ranking metrics bring that namespace and we pass in a lambda method here I like to make sure validation metrics isn't null before we use it. And then I'm just going to console.write line. I'll set the current trainer using the handler.trainer name with in DCG validation metrics that normalized discounted cumulative gains. And with that progress handler, we'll execute our experiment call the execute method on it. And we pass in our training set of data here. And because we have our test set, we can pass in some validation data and then pass the test set into there. And that progress handler, we just pass the progress handler as well. And from those results, we can get the best run from it. Results, that best run. And we can get some metrics from our best run here. So best run validation metrics, normalized discount and cumulative gains. And we'll just console right line. We'll do an environment that new line to separate this output from our progress output here. And then console dot right line best model and we'll pass in the best run dot trainer name with NDCG metrics that average. We're going to average it up. 
All right, so let's run this and see what we get. Of course, we see we get, we're get we getting a immutable array for our metrics, so I'll close this. And I forgot we need to also average this out as well because we get a list of, I think, four or five of these normalized discounted cumulative gains here. So let's run that again. There we go, so now we get our metrics. All right, so this ran, and as you can see here, it ran through quite a few different iterations. And the best model that it picked was a light GBM ranking model with an NDCG of around 61%. And for, for this metric, the closer to one that it is, the better model that you have. So that's just a quick video of showing how to use the ranking within AutoML. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks.